have a cigarette, then you cannot work at Penrose Hospital. The hospital has announced they will not hire anyone who tests positive for tobacco products. KRDO News Channel 13's Greg Miller is in the Newsplex. Greg, why now? Heather and Rob, the hospital says this plan has been underway for several years. They say refusing to hire tobacco users will promote a healthy community across the board. The Penrose campus is already smoke free, but under this policy, any job candidate who tests positive for a drug called codeine will be immediately eliminated from consideration. They can reapply for the job in 90 days if they quit smoking any tobacco products. This policy would also eliminate any applicant who uses a nicotine patch or gum because they would still be using tobacco. But if they reapply and test negative, they'd be considered for that job. We asked the Penrose CEO if they run the risk of losing qualified candidates because of an addictive habit. Who would not perhaps have made that change had not the value of a great job and a great organization perhaps pushed them over the edge. Now, any current Penrose employees are not at risk of termination because of this new policy. The hospital also believes they are just the first of many organizations that will be instituting policies like this. Now, I talked to one patient. He, was, he just completed an MRI earlier this afternoon. We asked him, quite frankly, what he would think if he saw his tech smoking outside away from the campus. He'll have his answer coming up tonight at 6. It's a really interesting yeah. conversation. And if the hospital's right, this will just be the first of many. Yeah. Does the hospital expect any backlash from, from this? You know, honestly, they're probably not. I mean, you know, yes, yes, smoking is legal, but they also have the ability to they also have the ability to institute any policies that they want to among their employees. Uh, we've seen debates like this with medical marijuana in some cases. Mm -hmm. um, they simply are doing this to promote a healthier community. They want to help any employees who are currently working for the hospital to quit smoking. They'll offer cessation programs to them. And any applicants are also eligible for the, for the programs that are available to the general public. Anybody, anybody who smokes, it's, yeah, you're right, very complicated issue yeah. here. Absolutely. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. We look yeah. forward Thanks, to your Greg. story at 6. Immigration.